incoming fall into waters. So that's good, huh? It's over. Give them all you've got, boy. Not this time. Don't let them get away. Give them all you've got, boy. Nice. Oh, hello, Dragoo. I've never had another chance to fight you. What a dragon? Oh, oh, oh. Thanks, Sid. Situation. You're late. And Gout's in trouble. What? The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? None. I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. Oh. That was my fault. Second jump. Okay, my handing of this guy is...
Mirage dive. Oh, fuck, this is Final Fantasy. I mean, 14. Oh, nice job, Sid. Oh, shit, Mo. Motherfucker, pull out a Mirage dive on me? Dude. Yeah, I don't know about many other games, but Mirage Dive. I know Mirage Dive from Final Fantasy XIV. It's one of the moves that you can learn as a dragon. Come on. That is fucking awesome. Damn, good hog. Damn, that's some upper body strength right there. Go oh, toggle. doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav. I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. Who the element of fire who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible and kill yourself if he's not. <laughs> Sid, I... Don't thank me. 
Thank Gav. Thanks, Gav. Thank you, Gav. Yeah, I am. No birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. to where it all began. Is that fucking Joshua? Joshua is still alive? He must be stopped. But uh, you're not good at this whole entire killing thing. Spitting great gouts of fire, you was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. Oh. Go to her, you fool. <laughs> right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh. oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. <laughs> Jill. Oh, hey. Hey, Moogle. Is it the Moogle? <laughs> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. I, I can't really want to hug this one. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest and that they never reveal themselves to humans. Nectar, you say? Clive. So it would seem. Hey, Google. Talk to these people since the wind carried me here, but not really understand what I say. That sounds painful. If it lasts, can you hear me? Can you actually hear me, Koopa? Koopa? Why can't I get a good hug like that? Yes. Thayo told me what happened. You saved my life. 
After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield, or... ...see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominant. What? What happened, Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? That's a story. Uh... It was me. I killed Joshua. Mm, I can't say it. That's not true. I know you. You wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again. Not long ago, the second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night. The hooded man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Swansea. We have found you. I don't know what I think, but that camera angle was pretty fucking awesome. His face, so his body never changed. We should go back there. To but the game. camera kind of. I need to know what really happened. In close around so him, you, I guess you would say. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true. I and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. You get that? Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon then, Clive. I should be ready too. We've a long journey ahead of us. Ooh, side quest finally. New recipes for the Black Hammer. What do you need? Ah, Clive. I trust you're settling in. Mm -hmm. Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself. I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. 
I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? I say I. Happy to help. I'd be happy to help. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. I have no problem with this. Also enjoy the detail the show. So this is like the big soul that they gave me and look how much different it is than the other soul. Isn't the funny? Back so soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Yeah, no, thank you. Get it, Sammy. He thought you might be hungry. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? Watcha, watcha. Let's see what we have in the way of quick. new stuff. What's that for you, dear? Really? I just got this weapon and now it's time. outdated? Let me go the stuff. Ooh. What's Guy's Blade? Should last you a good while. Anything else? Something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. There you go. One well, now I have a healthy meal. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running off to the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> they must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. Very excellent. Okay, trying to grab one guy in the box, and then... Let's get this fixed before someone. No, it's not the way I want to go. There we go. Oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild Mickey berries. Can I help you? Send me. Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves. Which leaves me very little time for anything else. <laughs> Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. I think that's everyone. I better let Kenneth know. Can we really do with a proper place of training? Uh, let me see what he wants and I'll talk to Kenneth. You! 
newcomer. I need help. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you. Will you go and check? I have to know. Okay. All right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps, but the soil there is second to none. Now okay. Go. So first quest, do not linger. get us out of Why? the... Uh... It may already be too late. We're looking at half a dozen. Just don't have enough teams to follow everybody. Hello. Ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Here, your reward, as promised. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. And there's a place a for fact everyone. We are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. Da -da! We have a lot of... Uh... No, I have enough points for that. Oh, nice. It shows you a little icon when you're going. Mm -hmm. oh, I remember this place. Someone's in trouble. Can I? Oh, damn. That's enough. Keep your distance, boy. Nice. Okay, young bears. It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, uh, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. 
But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I notice that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Right. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. No problem. Soil, then. There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? Okay, I'll do that one. Complete the quests. Then we can go back to some main story. There you are, and all safe and sound. She's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. Did you bring it? <laughs> uh, yes. Here. Glorious! When Martel came home empty-handed, I almost had a fit. But with this, with this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... That's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something. At least. <laughs> I wish I could offer you some fruit too, but you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. Why well, I thank you? I think I got enough bloody high to make it whole entire outfit really do with a proper place of What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. Stop, old lady, I don't know, but. Can I just buy new things off of you? Oh, wait, yeah, these. The guelph wasn't really worth it, so I said no. Uh. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Yeah. Off you go then. I'm best of luck. I should probably say thank you to Gav too.
So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive, and not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. <laughs> you take care, all right? Oh, he's sad. He's leaving. Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady. Ready. A boy, a girl, and his dog. Greatest adventure start ever. Area. It's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Brand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You'd get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. Mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. Listen, man, let's be like Clive. Don't be afraid of your emotions. Put them out. But I'm here now. Imperial Providence of Azalea. Homecoming. That inn at the top of the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. Look at the cues on this. Ooh. Items. Hi, big guy. the item. Oh, we bought in clam shells. Oh, nice. I didn't hit somebody, did I? 
Oh god, I'm about to say, I didn't hit somebody. Please, don't tell me. Hit somebody. That looks like a monster. Yep. Give them all you've got for it. Stay down. Get them. Don't let them get away. It's over. Nice. finished building the bridge then after what happened at Phoenix Gate it didn't seem the highest priority mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hi Oi. need some help Stop and get... here you couldn't give me an iron could you typical a bloody bearer and just when I thought my luck had changed still better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand I suppose Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. Can I kill him for this? The plastic burst must have caught whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. He was running late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Nah, sure. Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. You know, I have a half of mine to literally not finish his quest and just keep going. <laughs> It's just like, oh yeah, the detour, yeah, the detour was a fucking the entire game. How you like them apples? I want to live in the fantasy world. Well, 75 of the creatures will probably end up killing me. Here we are. Martha's rest. I kill the bees. It's over. Keep your distance, boy. Stable master, I was asked to deliver this to you. This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Sounds about right. I'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Crammed with him, if I know him. Gizal greens. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight, 
The smell gets out, and birds come running from miles around. Don't get me wrong. They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, especially around these parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Mm -hmm. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. Yeah. Girl, you get some rest now. You barely have to step out your front door. You know, they say this game had no black people, but I'm being treated as one. Go and find out, shall we? Very good to East Pool, leave him in the park. Excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the malicious way. Gav said you might be able to help us. Follow me. Sorry to before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. <laughs> had high hopes Regular friend of joined recently. Bedford. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. A right blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? You damn tootin'. Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. We both need that bridge repaired. Your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. He went down into the marshes to check on another bridge. The one by the Fallen Gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. There's a ladder to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. Roger, Roger. To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. It was good, honest work building the aqueduct. After it. Proper leaders, proper trades. Oh, I could fight this dog all day. There's a shop right there. Uh, what is? Is that thing always just always light up now? Or? Yeah, I guess it is. Very good to 
Here's, here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. Wee. I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. Ah, get away from me! What was that? Found him. It came from under the bridge. Come on. There he is. Hold on, we're coming. You know what to do, boy. Give them all you've got. Boy. Stay down. Here we go. Get him, boy. Keep your distance, boy. Die. Nice and easy. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, eh? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but uh, it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Ah, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. I'm sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. Time to go back. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed. The levees are due to go up again. Oh, taxes. Taxes always go up. You ain't pulled that sword from its scabbard. Wait, what? He, but he doesn't have a sword. Okay, sexual and Nintendo. Well, hopefully, maybe she can help him polish his sword. Oh, I assume we could use another. We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the Founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. 
It's the Blight's fault. They had nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. He can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. Nice. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes. There were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? They have, I. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was, they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums, even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Congratulations on a new arrival. And you got a little laddie with you. It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison. I let them deal with it. Damn, lady! Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, he weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far, Beggar wouldn't spit on him. Damn. What is this? Bale is a medieval black medieval. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. What is this signal that's right down there? Yeah. I don't care what your orders are, Grand. You keep that sword in Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> is it just stuck like that? I'm guessing. Oh, I made that marker. I'm about to say, why the hell is that marker still there? I made that marker. Can Cly swim? Watch yourself down in that bog. The mud will take you for creepy crawlies, don't. No. Swimming is not allowed.
Tales of the Riviera is next week. And then from there, we'll see. I do not know. What are you after? That all, is it? I want enough money. Fresh cuts, fresh cuts, get your fresh cuts. <sighs> I can't patch any of it. Then a bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know. But for a child to be blamed. To be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. I can't believe that just happened. Oh, look at the wild chocobos. Hi, wild chocobos. There's the abbey. The darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Let's go and see. You know what to do, boy. Stay down. Give them all you've got, boys. I wonder. Give them all you've got. Don't let them get away. Oh.